Today, guys, we're talking about five reasons why you should eat processed foods, and we're starting right now. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to Maverick Baking. If you're new here, my name is Kelly, and I create fun little kind of junk food reviews and recipes for all of you lovely people out there. Today's video is gonna be something slightly different, though. Today, I wanna to talk to you about processed foods. The term processed foods is one that is flying all over the place at this time of year. You know, after Christmas, the Western world descends into a whole realm of fad diets and weight loss regimes, all in an attempt to make us feel better about ourselves. And it really works. Among all of these fad diets and these wellness gurus, advice you will regularly hear is to reduce or completely eliminate processed foods. Now, let's just have a think about this, okay? Unless you're walking into your organic garden and hauling a fresh carrot from your soil and taking a bite out of it straight from the ground, pretty much every single food stuff that passes your lips is processed to some extent. And I know some of the healthier ones among you will be like, whoa, I live on raw fruits and vegetables. Good for you, most of us don't. Pretty much every single thing you purchase, whether it be from a farmer's market or from your regular supermarket or convenience store will have been processed in some way to make it more enjoyable or safe for you to eat. Things might be shelled, hulled, washed, peeled, cooked, all in the name of your convenience, your enjoyment, and you know, the hygiene and safety of the food that we consume. When you really think about it, a diet entirely devoid of processed foods is pretty much impossible and might result in some very dirty fingernails. With that in mind, I'm here today not to scare you or to shock you away from any of your favorite foods. Instead, I want to encourage you and give you five reasons why you should be eating processed foods. Reason number one, and perhaps the most important reason of all, is that just because foods are processed does not immediately make them unhealthy or bad for you. Mainstream media has kind of taught us to believe that processed food is this nasty Franken food that's gonna give us all cancer and kill us. But in reality, nothing is ever that dramatic. A lot of hugely popular health foods are just as processed. Do you really think tofu grows out of the ground naturally? Do you think that protein powder just appears on the soil of our land? I don't think so. This strawberry Nesquik milkshake powder, right? You look at it, it's brightly colored, has a cartoon animal on it, clearly geared towards children. It's gonna be delicious, but you think, hmm, that's gonna be some real processed nasty stuff and that's gonna be bad for me. When in reality, this is just sugar, which is refined from natural sources, just like anything else, with some natural colorings and natural flavorings. It even has added vitamins and minerals. Is it really that scary? And you know, this is equally as processed as this vegan rice protein powder. Um, you know, this stuff doesn't grow naturally from the ground. This came from rice, which just like the sugar in our Nesquik powder has been refined and you know, made safe and convenient for us to consume quickly. Similarly, this well-loved jar of Nutella. This is highly processed, still made from nuts and from cocoa, as well as palm oil, which that's a story for another day. Contrast this with the healthier version, this pip and nut chocolate coconut hazelnut butter, also derived from blending nuts with cocoa powder and natural saturated fats. They're both as processed as each other. Yes, we could go into the finer details of all the micronutrients in these products, but my point is just because something has been processed, such as this lovely nutritious protein powder and this absolutely delicious and natural chocolate coconut hazelnut butter, just because it's processed does not mean it's bad for you. Reason number two that you should be eating processed foods is that processed foods are so widely accessible. You can walk into any store that sells food and even some clothes shops now because clothes shops here in the UK have started selling sweets and candy by the tail and I've always thought that was kind of weird. <laughs> any store that sells food will sell convenient processed food, whether it's a sandwich in that familiar triangular box, whether it's a packet of crisps, whether it's a chocolate bar, whether it's a smoothie or a green juice, processed foods are widely available. Nowadays, we lead such busy lives. We all work a lot, we have mouths to feed, we've got bills to pay. While it would be delightful to sit down and eat a whole pineapple and a whole pile of organic spinach for lunch every day, it's not really ideal for most of us. 
So when we can, grabbing some processed foods that are gonna fuel us through our busy day and keep us happy and satisfied, I don't see anything wrong with that. Reason number three that you should eat processed foods is that processed food is so affordable. So many of us in the developed world are still struggling in poverty and even extreme poverty. And even those who aren't might be single mothers and students and people on low income just barely making ends meet. For these people who can't afford to go to their farmer's market every weekend and pick up a whole load of delicious organic fresh produce that will expire or at least go bad within a couple of days, they can rely on processed foods. Whether it's big, huge bulk bags of white rice, whether it's powdered potato, whether it's frozen meat, fruit and vegetables, these people can't always find the time or the money to be shopping for fresh produce every day. And when they can buy in bulk at a cheaper price and feed their family with food that has been processed but will still fuel them and keep them alive, how can you argue with that? Mainstream media and health gurus' distaste towards processed foods and the people who eat them are deeply entrenched in classism. It only takes 10 minutes to really read between the lines. As the widely loathed Gwyneth Paltrow has shown us on many an occasion, $5 or £5 worth of organic vegetables that'll make us glow from within and make us live forever will not take us as far or feed as many mouths as $5 or £5 spent on frozen foods, dried foods, and bulk foods that can be quickly cooked to feed our families. It's just, it's that simple. Reason number four why you should eat processed foods. And this one is really important and pretty relevant at the moment. That reason is that there is no direct link between processed foods and poor health. A recent study absolutely blew up in the media, here in the UK at least, that ultra or hyper processed foods can be linked to cancer, right? Your answer is already in that headline there. Can, may, might. You know, that's not a solid answer for you. The study in question looked at the eating habits of a handful of people. It didn't decide to tell you their age, it didn't decide to tell you about their lifestyle, it also didn't decide to tell you about their income. And all this study really managed to produce was the result that processed food has been suggested to have a link to cancer. You tell me if that sounds definitive or not. Astonishingly, this study also failed to even define what the term ultra or hyper processed foods really meant and if there was any scientific grounding for that. So naturally, the media scooped this up and turned it into a frenzy of processed foods will kill you. Processed foods cause cancer. You need to stop eating processed foods or you will spontaneously combust where you stand. And as usual, it's bullshit. As we've already spoken about, a food that is processed can be a superfood spirulina powder or a packet of vegetarian chicken nuggets. Either way, both are processed, neither are going to kill you. Don't believe the hype, enjoy your chocolate. The fifth and final reason why you should eat processed food is simply that processed food tastes good. Can you argue with me? No. Whether it's a thick, creamy, ice cream laden milkshake or a refreshing, bitter green juice, whether it's a creamy, milky, white chocolate bar or a super dark 80% cacao vegan chocolate bar. No matter what you're eating that's been processed, it has been processed, as I said, for your safety to consume, but also for your enjoyment and for your pleasure. Modernization has allowed us to make foods that taste delicious as well as fueling and nourishing us from the inside and the out. Now, obviously, I'm not telling you to never eat fruit and vegetables again. A fresh, ripe fruit picked straight from the tree or just picked up from a supermarket tastes incredible. It's sweet, juicy, and so good for you. And crunchy vegetables can be really refreshing on a hot day too, or delicious when roasted on a cold winter's day. What I'm telling you is not to eat these things. I'm just telling you that you are only human for enjoying wonderfully processed foods. Companies know how to make things taste good and you are not weak or unhealthy for enjoying that. It's there for you to enjoy. If plain fruits, meats, and vegetables had been enough to sustain and satisfy our ancestors, we would have never learned how to cook. We would have never learned how to season things. Think how grim our world would be then. A diet full of raw organic foods probably is really good for your body. I don't know because I'm not a qualified doctor, dietitian, or nutritionist. All I know is that processed foods do taste damn good as well. Pick out 15 people on any street and ask them what their favorite foods are. I doubt any of them are gonna tell you it's a cucumber, put it that way. 
So that's about it guys. Those are five reasons why you should enjoy and eat processed foods. There's no shame in it. There's no weakness in it. Processed foods are delicious, accessible, affordable, and you know, they're not necessarily bad for you either. Just because something is processed doesn't mean it's gonna kill you and it doesn't mean it's bad for you. The processing of food is not some kind of evil contamination or conspiracy of our food industry. It's simply a fact of modernization and contemporary lifestyle. You don't have to be afraid of it. You can find a link in the description box below to my blog Maverick Baking where you can see a full and more in-depth post on this subject if you're interested as well as other recipes and reviews. A huge shout out as always to all of my Patreon supporters Enrico, Nate and Paul. You guys are the best. If you would like to support the channel I have left the link to my Patreon page in the description box below as well. If you guys have any thoughts on the subject do please leave me a comment. Constructive or not I'll take anything. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any kind of important points that I missed out on or if you disagree with me. Let me know. Thank you guys again as always for watching and I will see you again very soon.